Hi, so this is a, another video for transmission. This is a 10 minute challenge and hopefully it's going to do exactly what it says on the tin. Now then, there's no time lapse uh, photography or anything like that involved. This is literally 10 minutes. So starting off with the Leishner Camera Clear Tinted Foundation in Almond. Uh, if you go to some of the other videos, you'll see we do use this a little bit. Um, literally dabbing it over the skin um, in little dots. And because this is a, a 10 minute video, a 10 minute challenge, literally, um, this would be a suitable look if you need to go out in a hurry or if, um, you know, you, you don't have much time to wait around for a full face to actually dry. Um, I've not cheated, I'm not wearing any foundation at all here. This is literally what you see is what you get. So dab it all over, um, including on the eyes, and then I'm using a sponge, you'll notice, just to spread it out. Now sometimes uh, the sponges do take a lot of the makeup off. Uh, you know, this, this being a challenge, it wasn't too important. Um, important to get even coverage, which is why I, I'm reapplying more makeup there. I look on my chin and where my beard growth is. Um, but this is sort of, if you need to do your face quickly, um, if you're going out for the evening, or if you are, um, you don't have much time, but you're not going to be wearing it for a long time, so this isn't really what you do first thing in the morning, anticipating it stays on all day. Maybe this is for uh, an evening, sort of an evening out with the girls or whatever. So yeah, keep damning it on. Now as you can see with the sponge, sometimes I'm smoothing it and sometimes I'm patting it. You do get a slightly different effect. Um, I tend to pat it over the beard line. Um, and smooth it everywhere else just because it, it leaves the makeup a little bit thicker over the beard line. Um, then you go back to it and as you can see I'm just brushing it down. It's quite interesting trying to do a, um, a 10 minute challenge because obviously uh, it's a well known thing. Men always moan about the time that girls get ready. Uh, so yeah, doing it in 10 minutes, let's see. If, if, uh, if a trans woman can do it, then I'm damn sure most girls out there can. Anyway, so there you go, the Leishner Stage Makeup Blending Powder. Putting that again all over. Now again, because I've not used as much makeup as in previous tutorials, um, it doesn't really have to dry as much. I don't have to wait around. It's pretty much ready to go. So whack the powder on. Um, and then again, you saw me buffer it off with a buffer pad. Now all I'm doing there is just placing the protective layer under the eyes. Even though it's a 10 minute challenge, I uh, I still drop makeup. Now again, this is a palette. Now there was a, a slight shift there you saw, purely and simply because I couldn't find where I put the palette. It wasn't a, I've not done anything else um, to my face. So using the same generic cheap palette, um, just using a favorite color. This time I'm using purple going all over the lower lid. Um, now again, because I've got quite droopy lids, um, you'll see that the perhaps in my videos, um, on my particular face, the uh, makeup goes higher when I open my eye, with my eye closed, but open if you know what I mean. Um, it actually looks a lot, a lot higher than it would do normally. Uh, this is purely and simply because of the way that my eyelids are. Um, if you've got sort of drooped or folded eyelids, um, then you do need to maybe use, as I do, put it a little higher. You'll see in a minute, it, it doesn't actually look that high, it doesn't look that, that drag. Um, again, using a square brush and just applying it all over the lids, going slightly out, easing it slightly out. Um, this is the blending brush, you've seen this many times, again, just moving it around a little bit, um, going for a slightly smoky look, um, nothing major. This is the eyeliner, again, plain black coal eyeliner, doing one line across the bottom uh, of the eyelid, that's the bottom of the top lid, right around the lash line, and doing the same on the other eye. It's quite interesting uh, trying to see whether I can do a full makeover in just 10 minutes um, because I'm having to also stop and think about what you guys are seeing. 
um, I have to uh, yeah stop and think what you guys are seeing makes it a little bit more interesting really So this is just the black, the matte black, using the same uh, square on brush that I used to put the purple on. Just putting a little tiny, tiny bit into the corner of my eye, um, on the outside of the eye, and a little tiny, tiny dab just on the inside as well. Again, back to the brush, uh, to the blending brush, and just smoothing it around, moving the makeup around, taking most of it off actually, uh, but leaving enough just to darken up the purple on the outside of the eye and create that smoky effect. Now, you can see just about there um, that it looks quite, it looks very different when I'm, I've got my eyes closed but raised as it does when I actually, um, you just look straight at the camera, see the droopiness. So, using the same uh, retractable blusher brush, just applying the, bl uh, excuse me, just applying the, br oh, can't say this. Applying the blusher. I know what I'm doing even if I can't say it. So I put a little bit on each side of the nose again, just narrowing down my nose. Even though it's a 10 minute challenge, I've still got to work on the same principles, um, which is that I still have to feminize a masculine face. Now, using the retractable brush half closed and just using the corner of it, I'm using again the Leishner Stage Makeup Blending Powder um, because it is more of a skin tone. Now what I'm doing this time is I'm about to pat it into place just using my finger. And that's literally just pushing it into place. Uh, it will now give me a little bit of a highlight around the eyes. Then using the same retractable brush on its fully width, fully open, and just taking the majority of that stage light up back off. Now, you can't really tell under these lights, but that does give me quite a natural looking highlight under the eyes. Um, and just again helps the eyes pop, helps feminize the facial features um, with somebody of my shape of face. Now this is a brown pencil. Now I do say with transmission we don't cheat. The only cheat I've actually done is I've penciled in my eyebrows. I, I don't have um, eyebrows after the first sort of third of the eyebrow from the eye out. So they, uh, they're gone. I, I nair them off. I use uh, uh, hair removal cream. Um, so I've penciled them back in just to give you that look so that if you are using your own natural eyebrows, um, you know, this is what you do basically. You just use them without waxing them. So I just applied a little bit of uh, my favourite dusky pink lipstick. And this is the Boots 17 uh, Volume Sculpt Tease Mascara. This is in the black. Again, it always, always amazes me just how much your face changes with a little bit of mascara on. Again, um, apologies to everybody for my voice. It's still not quite returned after this uh, bug that I've had, but hopefully it'll be back soon. Uh, using the black eyeliner then, the cold black eyeliner, just to do a line. It's, uh, it's on the waterline, but it's also just below it. As you can see, okay, just that's just below the waterline. I'm just about to go over it again and just touch it up. How are we doing for time? So far, we're coming up to the nine minute mark, and this is all done in real time. With also obviously um, everything being slightly around. I wasn't planning on doing this video uh, today, and it's been an interesting one because things weren't quite where I was expecting them to be. But anyway. Um, as you can see, probably the longest thing is this bloomin' eyeliner. Just making sure that it's even and that it actually is on the waterline and that I'm not stabbing myself in the eye. But there you go, 9 minutes 30. Pretty much done. All I've got to do is apply the hair. Head in. That's it. I will actually do a video on uh, wigs and wearing them and how to choose them and all of that we'll do one of those shortly stay tuned for that guys so there you go pretty much that now that's your 10 minute mark just about all i've got to do is give it a quick hairspray a quick zhush. 
Obviously, it's not the most refined look in the world, but there you go. Give it a quick shush of hairspray. Come on, come on. Any minute now. There you go. And we're done. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 seconds. And that is with faffing around. There you go. Challenge over. Join us next time on uh, transmission.co.uk and on Facebook. Uh, hopefully, guys, leave a message on our pages. Thanks very much. See you later.